Okay, so uh, how's the tour going so far? Because it's this is actually somehow of a premiere, given the fact that some countries it's the first time you've ever played, like Romania, for example. Yeah, it's going good. A uh, lot of people, and it's cool to see new places. And uh, we felt it was time to please our fans in Eastern Europe for once, because you guys was left out for a couple of years now. So, yeah, it, the tour is fine. And does the crowd react different from the Western side? No, not really. It's not a big difference. It, it's basically almost the same all over the world. It's, there's no, no really big differences. And um, how do you choose your songs for, for the playlist? I mean, do you go uh, exactly the, the traditional way, choose 30, 40 songs, then cut them down uh, on the tour? Uh, we tried to mix new and old songs. It's really hard since we only can play for like 90 minutes and we have nine albums. But uh, we, I mean, we try to please everyone mm -hmm. as good as we can. and still want to promote the latest album at the same time but I hope people will enjoy the mix of good and good old and new songs. And uh, do you feel more comfortable now working in your your own studio and the band has its own studio now? Yeah, it's much more convenient to have your own studio. Uh, I mean, we can, whenever we have ideas or new riffs, and when it comes to pre production, we never have the pressure of knowing that we're renting someone's place and paying a lot of money for it. So, I mean, it was a really good, a good choice to get that studio. And how would you describe the evolution of the band musically over the years? There's, there have been a lot of controversy over that subject. Yeah. <laughs> I heard about it. I don't know. I mean, I mean, if you listen to uh, the first album, Luna Strain, and the latest one, it's a definitely a big difference. But if, I mean, if you take it, take the albums and listen to them uh, chronologically, you can definitely follow the red line. I don't think uh, the difference is so big in between every albums. But I mean, we want to develop our music and ourselves as musicians, everything. So. We never want to do the same album all over again. And if you look, for example, at an album like uh, Ryu to Remain, that's the kind of album that mm, some people think it was released before its time. It, it was practically a sudden change in, in the band's style. Would you agree on that? Not really. I mean, it's a little bit different from Clayman. It's still melodic, it's still in flames, but I think one big thing is that we changed produ producer and studio on that album. On, the, on all previous albums we used Studio Fredman and Gothenburg and then we changed producer as well. So the whole, the whole sound of the album is, so, is more different than the previous ones. So that might add up to it, but uh, I, I, I don't think it's so different actually. People hated it back then, but they love it now, especially when they play the songs. From their own yeah, I, I don't. I don't think people in general hated it. It was a f few people that hated it, and they were screaming loud. So, <laughs> but uh, I think it, it's no big deal, really. I mean, I, I think every band comes. To, you come to a point when you when you get uh, to a certain level. It doesn't really matter what what kind of music you release. You will always be sellout because you're not underground anymore. I mean, we, if uh, the Jester Race would have sold the same amount as Root Remain did, that album would be probably be called Sellout as well. And do you consider yourself a sellout band? No, <laughs> I, I, I don't care. We play music that we enjoy. And if people like it, that's a bonus. And um, who comes up with the artwork for the band? I mean, do you have your own ideas? Uh, to point uh, to point the artist to uh, this time we tried a new guy called uh, Alex Party. Uh, we saw some of his stuff he did on the internet, and we we liked all the colors and everything. And uh, then he, him and Anders discussed about Anders' lyrics, and they were throwing ideas at each other. So they kind of 
Yeah, they talked about the, the lyrics and the concept and everything, and they come up with this. And talking about the lyrics, it's it's the whole thing just uh, his concept, or do you guys come in with some ideas? No, the lyrics is all Anders. I mean, he's the guy who has to sing the lyrics, so then he, he has to write them as well. Otherwise, it's kind of strange, I think. Last year you had a quite amazing tour, the summer tour, I mean, uh, the festival ones, in uh, which you brought fireworks and <laughs> it, it was a fascinated and complicated show. Uh, where did you came up with the idea to bring such a show and how did you manage to, uh, I don't know, to carry all that equipment? What amount actually we're talking about? Because, I mean, for over than 15 shows, I think, to bring fireworks at every show, that's kind of complicated. Yeah, the, we have other people that has to worry about that, <laughs> luckily. Uh, but I mean, festivals is a good forum to really put on a big show. I mean, we can do club shows, but when you have this big stage and so so many people, we want to do something special and really try to put on a really good show. And, uh, and I mean, we've been using fireworks for several years now, and we always try to put up a cool light show and everything. Yeah, but never at this... Kind of no, no, I mean, we try to make it bigger, of course, every time. But, uh, I mean, the live shows are, or they are a very important part of Inflames. I mean, we consider ourselves as a live band, more than a studio band, you know. We love playing live, and people pay so much for the tickets nowadays, so we always want to give them something special. And do you have something special planned for this tour? 